throughout your career you ever encountered Jay Z on on any level? <laughs> I don't think that dude likes me too much. Man. For real? Yeah, ever since I was little, man. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't think he he ever took a liking to me. I, I don't know why. Like there was always some sarcastic shit to say when I was around. Yeah. Not always, but he he said a few things and me and him didn't really know each other. You know what it was? It was Dame. Hyping it up so much. Every time you see Dane, he'd be like, Jay Z's the best, Jay Z's the best. And I used to be like, all right, man. Like, right. Then, you know, I was a Biggie fan. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, Jay Z's, he, he's super nice too. But I was a Biggie fan. So right. I was just like, all right, Dane, we, we hear you, man. Jay Z's the best rapper ever. And all right. And then it just got like, it got to a point where it's like, all right, man, I don't want to hear that shit no more, man. Like, I heard you the first time. You know what I mean? But it, it's like, my account is. It ain't, it ain't been, you know what I mean? We probably said, I probably said what's up to him like one time in you the office when they had the office on Josh. You familiar with the, the title, music streaming service and all of that, the download uh, brand that he just launched? I'm a, I'm a, what, that title? Title, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about I, to say I'm a dummy. When how do you think, that. how you, how do you think that, that that will affect the Diplomat brand and shit? Because the Dips, like, got to you know, their history with Jay is, Consist of you know a lot of bickering, disc records, you know things of that nature. He he is like he putting himself in in a, in a position where he's like one of the sources of music downloading the streamings. Oh yeah. Streaming, uh, yeah, music streams it's and shit serious. like so. It's very serious. <laughs> I, I was wondering what you know. You think y'all ever have to do do any business with Jay? Shit, I hope I hope we do some business with Jay. Like. You know, he's made the money at, man. Nigga ain't stupid, man. I don't have a problem with him, and I don't think any anybody around me has a problem with him. I just think, you know, maybe... I don't know what happened in that office. I can't tell you every detail. Like, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Whatever grudge he got against niggas, I hope he get over it. You know what I mean? Was you around when Flex started bombing him all crazy? Yeah, I, I, I heard about that. I asked Cam. I said, yo... What's, he don't want Flex to do the tour or whatever Cam is like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. All I know is we got to go get this money or whatever the case may be. So that's what happened with that. I Like I said, I don't really know Jay like that. You know what I mean? I've seen him growing up, but I don't I don't have a, a problem with him. If I had a problem, then I would tell you. You know what I mean? But I don't, I don't really know him like that. So he's doing what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? Like, I, I hope he... Squash that booze right. Cause Zeke was telling me one time I was telling him Like yo let's go to 4040 He's like yo We not allowed in there I'm like oh, Wow Well I guess I can't see my affiliation He's playing to me <laughs> up. In there sometimes. sometimes I wanna go in there like, Right He's like I don't wanna get embarrassed Get bounces around me Like they did Zeke Or whatever right. He can't even see me Like but I just don't want to risk it. You know right. I mean? like, they told Zeke to get out. And he so the, the bouncer like, stepped to him, told him he had to roll? Yeah. And they not allowed to play no dipset music in there or whatever. That was 4040 in New Jersey? Nah, in, in, in the city. Over here in the city, okay. Zeke was there for like his niece's party or something like that. He just went there, you know what I mean? Oh, it was random. It wasn't even yeah. his event. His yeah. event. Yeah, he just, and then the bouncer's like, come on, Zeke, you know, you can't be in here, blah, blah, blah. like, what? Like, so you just had to leave. I thought that was kind of petty. Odd. Yeah, I'm petty. petty at, at that. Listen, Jay. Niggas don't want no problems, man. This ain't nothing. Niggas being pussy. They ain't got nothing to do with that. It ain't no street shit. Man. You're a corporate mogul. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody trying to get the way you at. This ain't about the, the petty bullshit. I've, um, you know, the last few months, as we watched Skibo Debo make his ascension through the ranks of music you've been around, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm watching. Let me tell you something about Skibo. He's hard-headed. But let me tell you another thing about Skibo. He's one of the few niggas I met that I could call a friend. You know you can't call niggas friends. So associates, my nigga or whatever. Right. He's a good dude, man. Like, and, and, you know what I mean? He, he can get aggressive when he want to. You know what I mean? He be taking the light on these niggas out here. I be telling him sometimes, maybe you need to be a little bit aggressive. Because I'm honestly like, niggas look at me like I'm just passing. You right. know what I mean? Until we get behind closed doors or I see y'all on the street. I ease up on a lot of a lot of y'all niggas, man. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of my niggas want to do shit to y'all because I'm not 
where they think I need to be or where I think I should or right. where I think I should be. You know what I mean? But back to Skibo Debo. Um yeah, he, he, he working. He got some work to do, but you know what I mean he'll get there if he Talk about the record, click, click, click. How y'all put that together? He was in the studio one night and um he put the beat on and I liked it. I got some other records I wanna do with Skibo. I'm gonna keep it a hundred I I wasn't really focused on that record, you know what I mean? Because I figured, like, we could knock out, like, 20 records and then you pick right. which one, you know what I mean? Like, I could do that all day, but, like, my man, you be, be lazy sometimes. You want to smoke, sleep, lay up, right. you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, like, we all do that, you know what I mean? But this makes things coming together slowly, just like mine. My shit is almost done. Though. When can we expect the release of your shit? I would say late next month. I was shooting for July 4th, but... That's not gonna happen. Like, put like two more features on it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give them like nine songs. You know what I mean? And we'll go from there. Who could we look forward to as far as features? You got any surprises for us? Uh, the surprise that I that I'm getting on there, I I, I give you another interview in like two weeks and let you know what happened. Okay. <coughs> I appreciate you, my nigga. It's been a long time coming, my nigga. Uh, Is it? 2011. You gave me plenty, my nigga. Um, we oh, want to. We want to. We, we want to. We want to continue to work with you. We are gonna continue to play. You are gonna be like a Valley TV All Star. You know, we right at home. We gonna continue to do this on the regular, my nigga. Um, Gully, I seen you go crazy on the Instagram. On oh, niggas, you being polite. Oh no, doubt. Ask me some questions. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me, tell me who the creeps are, man. Like, who, who the who the who the creeps? Who should I say? Who, who should I? Say? He did some sucker shit. I'm a good nigga, man, and I'll be playing with bread, man. I I I got a very very short tolerance for bullshit when there's money involved. You know what I'm saying? Cause I work hard for my bread, my nigga. Like, everybody's not an entertainer and shit. Like, and I was trying to explain this to this nigga. You know, he out of the loop now. You'll never see that nigga on this camera no more in life. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He's finished. I'm pulling the plug on him and shit. He can't get no internet wreck from Gully TV. You've you, you, you been putting in work for years. You got, you got to keep it on. That's right? cool. I've been putting in work for 11 years, too, and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When, 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 um, Dot Mob was Money Ave and shit. I've been doing this shit that yeah. long. Shout you remember that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out Dot Mob. Word. Um, I don't know, man. Like, this works, my nigga. Like, why don't you send me a hook or something? Why don't give me something exclusive? <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me something exclusive. You sure? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, I'm good. What you waiting for? A hook? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hooks oh, cost money, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, free, man. I put, I put, I put in work. Man. Go ahead and drop out, man, for Gully TV. You've been wonderful, my nigga. Yo, it's your boy Sin City, aka everything you need to hear. Shout out to Gully TV. You know what I mean? Yup, it's been real, man.